Like other transit properties, Chicago started operations with steam locomotives pulling wooden trailer cars. Four companies operated the first L's, the South Side Rapid Transit, the Lake Street and Oak Park, the Metropolitan West Side, and the Northwestern Elevated. It didn't take long for the steam lines to become electrified. The L expanded and grew. By the end of the first decade of the 20th century, the steel L structure was as large as it would ever be. And as the lines grew, the equipment changed too. It got larger and heavier, but it was still wood. In fact, one car even received the complete modernization treatment from the Chicago Transit Authority. Southside Rapid Transit Car Number 1 has been preserved in the five-car CTA historical fleet. It operates as a trailer. It is scheduled to be donated to the Museum of Science and Industry, where it will be put on permanent display. The only operating example we have of CTA and Chicago Rapid Transit wood equipment is at the Illinois Railway Museum in Union, Illinois. And here the car is on display at the annual 4th of July Traction Trolley parade. Slight oops with the trolley. A whistle and pass in review. Beginning in 1914, the combined transit companies received the first cars of the all-steel 4000 series car fleet. These first cars were often nicknamed Baldies because of their plain-looking rolled iron roof. Trailer cars had center doors, bowling alley seating, and concrete floors. The motor cars had two-by-two two seating, center doors, and concrete floors. Both series lasted in service until the 1960s. There were 250 cars in this first series, 66 control trailers, and 184 motor cars. In this color scheme, the Baldies are remembered by most Chicagoans. 
These scenes showing the Baldies in action come from 90 years of Chicago traction from inner urban videos. In 1922, the first of a second type of 4000 series car was received by the Unified L system. This second series lasted until the 1970s on the Evanston route. Their green upholstered seats gave them the nickname Plushies. They featured two by two reversible seating no center door, and a roof made of canvas and wood to allow for trolley pole operation. In his book, The CTA at 45, former CTA Executive Director George Cramble said that these cars were arguably the finest of their time built in America. Several museums today have operating 4,000s in their collection. In May of 1988, we were fortunate enough to be trackside on the Loop L structure. For CTA's Transit Appreciation Day, one of the final times that the CTA's historical cars, 42, 71, and 72, operated in service. And as you can tell, there was a great deal of construction going on. A new merchandise mart station and a new Clark transfer station were under construction.